stop talkers. I'm not sure if I'm motivated by this next woman, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I kind of got a sneak peek of what it is, and I'm more, I, yeah. I know. Let's, I know. We're going to probably maybe be divided <laughs> on this one, I have a feeling. So an Indiana mom is going viral for sending her kids to school in stained but clean clothes. Take a look. This is your reminder that it's okay to send your kids to school in clean, stained clothes. I have a three and a half year old. She goes to preschool. She stained these while at preschool. Why would I not send her to school in the stained clothes that she stained at school? Hmm. So that's Marla. She's a mom of two. She has a three-year-old and a five-year-old. She's gone viral after posting this on TikTok. She came to her conclusion after reflecting, as she said, on her three-year-old daughter's well-loved clothes and realizing the financial toll of trying to keep up with endless wash cycles and buying new clothes. She said it was a really pivotal moment for her because she feels like it gave her, quote, a lot of freedom and it reduced the stress. Edo. <laughs> what? What is happening? Oh! <laughs> okay, I 100% am on her side. And I 100% am on the kid's side. Here's the thing. <laughs> May gets dirty. Yeah, right? yeah, for sure, yeah. At the, I hate it because, okay, I get where she's coming from. Yeah. I totally get it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. mama works for May's wardrobe, okay? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and it's hard to keep replacing right. it, yeah. And she grows and all of that, and she has her favorite, she loves Bucky, she has her favorite little Bucky onesie, and I'm yeah. sure she'd be devastated yeah. at 18 months if Bucky was gone. However, the children are the ones that are going to suffer, I feel. I, and here, <clears throat> so my kids went to a school and they had to wear a uniform which I think I am pro uniform. I am so yeah. pro uniform. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but they would come home every day with new stains on their clothes because this was more of an outdoor kind of a school. It was it was a it was a private school, but they really focused on kids outside playing. Right. And there was clay in the dirt also, and that mm -hmm. nothing is getting that out. And so I wasn't about to keep buying them new pants and new pants and new But did other kids the, have the stains? Oh yeah. See, but that's different, I think. Like <laughs> this, they're not uniforms. Yeah, but in other circumstances, my kid has had stains on her like pink leggings like this mom's and I was just like, you know what? She's gonna get it dirty in two seconds anyway. So you would send her to school and stain clothes. Clean uh, but stained? Probably not past third or fourth grade. Because I was gonna say I think kids are gonna make fun and yeah. be like that's the dirty kid. Yeah. They don't realize kids aren't going to be like, oh, it's stained, but it's clean. Mm -hmm. And then the other moms in the carpool line are going to talk, and the kids pick up on that. Mm -hmm. And so now you have the dirty kid that comes home crying. Yeah. I don't know. To me, it's think, like yeah. certain are play clothes, right? Yes. So my mom taught me this, which has been great. There's certain clothes you buy mm -hmm. that aren't as expensive. I have may have some darling outfits, seven bucks maybe. They're play clothes. I yeah. don't. They have no sentimental. Then there's the nicer clothes. Yes. Right. Yes. And those you definitely you you treat them, and if it doesn't come out, you just burn them. Uh, but it, I think there's a difference in age groups because also my kids were super stainy. Mm like probably till first grade. By second grade, they weren't getting as dirty. And okay. Like, so it was kind of... I just, I don't know. I just I, think sometimes we think of these wonderful ideas as parents, mm -hmm. but then I feel almost like we're a little bit selfish because we're not thinking about yeah, the and kids see, others, and I'm just like, react to them. Eh, they'll build resilience. See, and I'm <laughs> like, oh, I don't want my child. There's so much else they have to deal with. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get it if you have that favorite, hey, I have a favorite blouse that has a stain on it. And I'm like, oh, I really love this blouse. I, I, you can't wear it. You just can't. If I showed up to work with a stain on, oh, everybody yeah. in this building would be like, Maggie, you got a stain there. Maggie, you got a stain there. And I'd be like, but it's clean. Think of it that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I think kids, like, at a certain age when they're hmm. all in the dirt, they're all I climbing the, the uniform, trees. I think the like at the school, you were saying yeah. they were all dirty. Well, because those rompers right. are like $45 yeah, each. Forget that. Forget yeah. That. I'm not replacing those. But also, you guys. If you want to slide in my DMs, I have, and they're not sponsored, <laughs> so I'm not going to say the brand, but I have some amazing stain <gasps> things I Me found. Me too. So, ooh. ooh yeah. Okay. I we're going to talk. We're, we're going to talk during break. Stay tuned. We have more news that happens up.
after the break. Mommy won't let you go to school with stains, May. Don't Mommy you fret. Will. Don't you worry, twins. No, no. They're gone. You're going. <laughs>